Well, at least it shows it's around, so that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for signs of the kingfishers. Good morning all. Uh, well, it's um, part two of the hunt for the kingfisher. Um, didn't have a lot of luck last time. Uh, sat out for quite a while, didn't even see it fly by or anything. Um, so, uh, hoping for a bit more luck this time. Um, lovely morning, really bright, sunny, um, slight bit of cloud overhead. But uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely great. Um, ideal conditions, not too windy. A little tiny bit of a breeze but not too much so um, so we're gonna go and have a sit again on the river bank and and see what we can find um, and see if the kingfisher turns up for us knowing my luck it'll probably probably come by just as I'm standing here talking to you and then I'll never see it again but uh, so I'm not gonna hang around I'm gonna go and see what I can find and uh, yep hopefully we can get some some pictures bye for now Just settled in uh, same spot as uh, in episode one of trying to find the kingfisher. Um, there, in front of me, there's a, there's a tree on a little sort of um, jut of land that sticks out into the river, and the river splits up just behind it. Um, got some nice branches just hanging off the tree, uh, just overhanging the water. Ideal perch for kingfishers. Um, and the sun's behind me, so it's actually, you know, if anything does come on there, it should light up the uh, light up the kingfisher quite nicely. Little um, long-tailed tits in the top of the tree at the moment. Um, so let's uh, just be patient. You know, just because it didn't turn up last time doesn't mean it won't turn up this time. Uh, got a moorhen, uh, a coot or a coot around us somewhere. Um, And, and plenty of plenty of activity, plenty of bird life this morning. So, uh, a lot of bird song around. So yeah, great great morning. So yeah, got. It. I'd like to say I've got a good feeling about it, but you just never know because with wildlife, it, it could turn up. It it just might not bother. So um, yeah, let's just uh, sit quietly and we'll see what happens. So we've got a nice little uh, wren sitting in the top of the tree, um, singing its heart out. Um, wasn't quite sure what it was to start off with. It it's, didn't, didn't look like a wren, but when I when I sort of look at the images that I've got, um, you know, I think I'm pretty sure it's a little wren. Um, but quite happy, it keeps keeps flying around the area, branch to branch, uh, sitting in the trees opposite me. Um, yeah, that's, that's quite pleasant, and the, you know, the, the song is absolutely lovely.
So totally out of nowhere, the kingfisher has just shot past me. Um, he seemed to be, he came from the area of the bush I was watching, but whether he actually came from further up the river, I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, only probably, well, just the other side of the riverbank, really, about uh, 20, 30 yards in front of me. Um, absolutely great to see. Um, no chance of getting a photo, just went f way too fast past me. Um, but um, well, at least it shows it's around, so that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for signs of the kingfisher. So we've seen a sign of the kingfisher, we've seen it, we know it's here, um, but we just need it to come and get used to us maybe and just come and sit and have a perch for us so we can get some decent shots and maybe some decent video. So what is not lost? Um, better than the first time round at the moment um, where we didn't see anything at all um, but, so yeah let's uh, let's keep watching and and hopefully might come back Well, at least I know I'm reasonably camouflaged. Um, just almost had my ear bitten off by a dog. Um, the owner obviously didn't know I was here. The dog was on the loose. Uh, made me jump um, to find this uh, black Labrador sniffing around my, uh, the back of my head. I didn't know it was there. It, it obviously knew I was here. Um, but hopefully, if the, if the dog, well, if the owner can't see me, then hopefully the birds won't be able to see me either. So that's a positive sign anyway, but give me a hell of a jump when this Labrador was round the back of me head. So we're getting closer. Um, just heard the Kingfisher approaching. Turn round, it just flew up onto a, a small branch to the left of me on the other side of the river. Um, Unfortunately, I think it then saw me and, and, and it got spooked. So it's not quite used to me being around here yet. I'm hoping, you know, if I sit here enough, that they might get used to me, but uh, I'm not sure we're gonna have to find somewhere where it might be a bit more camouflaged, a bit more hidden away, but, but yeah, at least we're getting, we're getting closer. Um, you know, it was only, gosh, 10, 15 yards away from me when it settled on the branch, just for, just for that split second, but Unfortunately, the camera was put in the opposite direction, so um, didn't get a chance to get anything of it. But uh, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. We know we know they're around. That's twice we've seen them there today. Um, so you know we know there is a kingfisher around. So I've just been scouting out another little spot, um, just a little bit further down the river from where I've been the last couple of times. Um, quite sheltered, a little bit dark because it's in, under all the trees but I don't know, looks like it might be okay I might uh, might give that a try tomorrow um, just to try something a little different just to see because I think we're a bit in the open where we're trying to get the kingfisher up to now so I think we're going to spook it quite easily but um, this place I've just been scouting out there's a little bit more cover around you so you can hide in the trees a little bit more and probably won't be quite so visible to the kingfisher so uh, so yeah so we might give that a go well this is one of the problems with wildlife photography guys well not one of the problems one of the challenges you don't know what's going to turn up when it's going to turn up and if it's going to turn up and I have to say today it didn't turn up so on to another day, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, we've just got to keep trying. You know, that, I say that is wildlife photography, and that's part of the excitement. Is you don't know, you don't know what you're going to get, and when you're going to get it. You can go to places where you can guarantee it, almost guarantee it, but generally, you know, it's it's that anticipation. It, it's fantastic. I love it. I love it. So. Um, all the best for now and let's hope um, I hope you guys aren't getting you know a bit bit um, bit miffed with me not finding this kingfisher but uh, I, I can't guarantee it 
I'm not in control of it, so uh, we just have to keep trying. Hopefully you'll stay tuned and, and, and hopefully this won't become an impossible task. Um, you know, I don't know how long it's going to take, but yeah, please don't forget if you, if you like the video just click the like button below. Um, and uh, I guess that might keep me going because, you know, um, you do sometimes think, should I give up? But no, that, that, let's say that's wildlife photography. You've just got to keep going. So thanks for watching all and I'll uh, catch up with you next time.